Welcome back. This is a segment Midcap Spotlight. Manglam is joining us now to focus on footwear companies. There's a damn capital note, Manglam. What is it saying? Well, you know, there's always a good time for me to talk about shoes, but this more so because it's coming in uh, from Dam Capital on the footwear industry. And if you look at it, you know, it's uh, the footwear stocks which are actually outperforming in an otherwise uh, weak day of trade. So their thesis basically on the footwear industry is that there is a lot of disparity between the number of popular brands when it comes to apparel versus the number of popular brands which are there in footwear, telling you that footwear is a lot more specialized and a lot less commoditized industry as apparel itself. And it has strong affinity towards brands and it is a play on consumer discretionary products itself. So if you just take a look at uh, the players that they've covered, Relaxo Footwear offers ex exposure to the manufacturing end. And if you're looking at the value chain, Metro Brands operates on the retailing and distribution end. Whereas Bata is uh, changing its strategy when it comes to creating a better assortment and asset light distribution for the company itself. If you look at it from a price uh, standpoint, Relaxo operates in the mass market segment, Bata and Metro, both of them are in the mid-premium segment as well. This is their parameters on what their trends are and what's likely to you know, fuel growth going forward. They believe Metro's model is actually the best play in the current environment. And also, they speak about the foreign collaborations, Hush Puppies with Bata, Fila with Metro, and going forward, Foot Locker with Metro as well. So, taking all these things into consideration, they've actually initiated coverage on the sector. Buy rating on Metro, target price of 12.38, implying an FY26 price to earnings of 65 times. Need to, mind, need to be mindful of the multiples out here. Buy rating on Relaxo Footwear as well. They've given it an FY26 multiple of 60 times the target price of around 950 rupees. Buy rating on Bata with a target price of 1660, implying a price to earnings of around 50 times. A discount to the other players, largely perhaps because Bata's uh, change in strategy is still not visible on the ground right now. So this is something that they'll keep an eye out on. Key risks, one, excessive raw material volatility, increased competitive intensity, and a slow slowdown in rural and semi-urban demand as we've seen in recent past, which has caused uh, some slowdown in the numbers of all these companies as well. Any recovery in consumer sentiment and these three would, according to Dam Capital, be some of the best plays. All right, Mangalam, thanks a lot for getting us all of those details. These are some of the companies and some of the stocks which are managing to hold in, you know, what is otherwise looking like a bit of a weak market. So thanks for bringing us all of the highlights of this note. Uh, with that, we're completely out of time on this edition of a mid-cap radar.